how to add or remove a folder from a level sequence with C++ in Unreal. And actually, while we're at it, we're going to take some time to add some tracks inside those folders and then remove them, so let's get to it. But before we start, today's video is going to reuse some code we wrote in the video 22 of the series, so I recommend to go see that one, but if you don't want to, here is the code. So, as usual, here we are in the completely empty header files, except the five function we're going to create today, we're going to need three function to add or remove folders from the level sequence and two other functions to move the actors either inside the folder or outside of the folder. So, we're going to create five functions today, but before we do that, we have to forward declare the new movie scene folder because we want to create and return some movie scene folder so we have to forward declare the class right here at the top and after that we can go through the function so the first function we're going to create is the get folder from level sequence so that function is going to try to look inside the level sequence to find the folder matching the folder name that we feed it so we have to feed it the sequence pad the level sequence pad so inside that level sequence we're going to look for that folder and if we find it well we're just going to return it at the end so the new movie scene folder we're going to retrieve it from the level sequence and then as a second function, we have the add folder in level sequence. And for that one, it's the same thing. We have to feed it the path of the level sequence in which you want to add the folder and the name of the folder you want to create. That function is just going to add the folder inside the level sequence if it's not already there. And it's just going to return it to you once it's done. And finally, the third function, we have the remove folder from the level sequence. For that one, same thing. Just have to feed it the path of the level sequence and the name of the folder. And that function is just going to remove the folder name from the level sequence if it's in there. And that's it for the three functions that are handling the creation and the deletion of all the folders that are inside the level sequence. Now it's time to move the actors either inside or outside of those folders. So here for the last two function, we have first the move actor in folder in level sequence. So that one is just going to take the level sequence path and the folder name in which you want to move the actor and also obviously the actor you want to move inside that folder. So we have the actor right here. It's going to put that actor inside the folder and the last function is the opposite. It's going to be the move actor out of folder in level sequence and that one same thing, feed the level sequence path, the folder name and the actor and and that one is going to remove the actor from the folder if it's in there. So good, that's it for the header file. Now it's time to jump in the CPP and we're going to start with the includes as usual. And the first include is going to be the code of the video 22 of the series that we're going to use to find the actors that are currently inside the level sequence so we can find them more easily. And then we have three includes today. We have the level sequence because we want to modify those. We have the movie scene that is inside the level sequence, obviously. And finally, we have the movie scene folder because we're going to create folders inside the movie scene. So we need these three includes to do that uh, and we also have to make sure that the modules are already inside the build.cs file or to add them so i have the level sequence and the movie scene module so i'm just going to go back in my build.cs file to see if i have okay first i have my level sequence right here and i have my movie scene right here so good i have all my modules inside my build.cs file so it should compile properly so i can go back inside the cpp and start working on the first function so the get folder from level sequence and actually all the functions today are not going to be that difficult because it's all stuff that we already did before so first we have to load the level sequence to be able to access all the folders that are in there. So load the level sequence using the static load object, feeding it the level sequence path. That's going to give you the level sequence. If the level sequence is not valid, we cannot find the folder inside it because the level sequence doesn't exist. So I'm just going to return right away, return that I wasn't able to find the folder because, well, the level sequence doesn't exist. But if the level sequence does exist, then we have to find the folder that is inside it. And the way we we'll do that is by simply looping through all the folders that are currently inside the level sequence and try to find one with the same name that we receive as input. So I'm just going to to create a little variable right here that I'm going to set later on if I find the right folder inside the level sequence. So I have my new movie scene folder pointer right here, my existing folder that is inside my level sequence. And then I'm going to loop through all the folders that are inside the level sequence. So in the level sequence, we have the movie scene. In the movie scene, we have the get root folder functions. That's going to give you all the folders that are inside the level sequence at the moment. So we can loop through all of them. And then I'm just going to compare the name of my folder. So get folder name that I'm converting to a string to be able to compare it with the string that I receive as input which is the folder name I'm interested in so here I'm just comparing the names and if they are the same well I can set my existing folder to that specific folder because we found a folder with the right name and that's it actually I can just break out of the for loop because I found the right folder I don't have to look through all the other ones and I can simply say that it was a success if my existing folder is valid so if I found the right folder during my for each loop it's going to set the existing folder to something that is valid and I'm going to mark the process as a success and then I'm going to have a little bit more information to the user to say if it was a success or not and obviously I'm going to return my existing folder at the end of the function because that's the main utility of this function right here. It's to return the existing folder that is currently inside the level sequence matching the name that we feed at the beginning of the function. So good. 
That's it for the first function. Now it's time to jump to the second one, the function that adds a folder inside the level sequence. Because if we want to be able to find them, we have to add them first. So to add a folder inside a level sequence, we're going to first make sure that the folder doesn't already exist. So I'm going to call my first function get folder from level sequence, feeding it the level sequence path and the folder name. And that's going to give me the folder that it found inside the level sequence. If that folder is not equal to null, so if the folder is valid, I don't want to re-add another folder with the same name. That would not make sense. So I'm just going to say that it was not a success. I'm not able to add the folder inside my level sequence because it's already there. I'm also going to return my folder right here just in case that you wanted to do something with the folder after calling this function. And in this case, the folder is already valid. So why not just return it right here? So good. If the folder is already inside the level sequence, we're not going to add it. But if it's not, well, it's time to add it inside the level sequence. So we have to first load the level sequence to be able to modify it. So static load object, level sequence path, that's going to give you the level sequence. If the level sequence is not valid, we won't be able to add the folder inside it. So here I'm just going to return right away if the level sequence is null because I cannot add the folder inside a level sequence that doesn't make sense and finally now that we know that the level sequence is valid we can create our folder so here I'm just going to do a new object a U movie scene folder object to create my new folder the parent of my folder is going to be obviously the movie scene because we want to add the folder inside the movie scene that is inside the level sequence the name of the object doesn't really matter in this case it's not going to affect the name of the folder I don't know why they did that but whatever so I'm just going to set the name of my folder object to nothing because it doesn't matter and the flag that you have to use is the transactional flag and as output that little new object right here is going to give you a folder a floating folder that is not inside the level sequence yet we're going to add it manually but first we're going to set its folder name to be able to find it later so i'm just going to set my folder name using the folder name i receive as input so we can find it a little bit easier later and now that we have a nice little folder and it is named properly we can finally add it inside the movie scene so in my level sequence movie scene i can add a root folder so add the root folder feeding it the folder and that's going to add the folder inside the movie scene and that's it we can say that it was a success we were able to add the folder inside the movie scene and return the folder obviously because well if you want to do something with the folder afterwards you can because you have the folder right here so good that's how to add a folder inside the level sequence now it's time to jump into the function that removes the folder from the level sequence so remove folder from level sequence and it's going to start the same way as the previous one we're going to try to find the folder from the level sequence so get folder from level sequence level sequence path folder name that's going to give you the folder if the folder is null it means that the folder is not already inside the level sequence so you don't have to remove it because the folder doesn't exist so I'm just going to return right away but if the folder is valid then we have to remove it so I'm just going to load my level sequence once again so static load object level path which returns the level sequence and then we're simply going to call the remove root folder function that is inside the movie scene to remove the folder that we found inside the level sequence we don't have to make sure that the level sequence is valid because if the folder is valid it means that it's already inside the level sequence so the level sequence is obviously valid so here I'm just going to remove the folder from the level sequence and and that's it now I can just return because well I'm done this function is done I was able to remove the folder from my level sequence and that's it for the three functions that are creating and deleting folders from the level sequence now it's time to jump into the function that moves track inside those folders because if we only have folders and we're not placing stuff inside them they are not really useful so I'm just gonna scroll down right here and jump into the move actor in level sequence function function that I'm going to start the same exact way as the previous one so we have to first get the folder from the level sequence because if the folder is not there well we cannot move an actor inside it, so I'm just going to call the get folder from level sequence fitting in level path folder name and I retrieve the folder if the folder is null I cannot add an actor inside it so I'm just going to return right away but if the folder is valid then I can move my actor inside that folder but to do that we have to go through the UID of the actor so I'm just going to call the function from the video 22 so the get actor UID from level sequence fitting in the actor and the level sequence path that, that function is just going to look through all the actors that are currently inside the level sequence and find the UID of that actor and once we have the UID if the UID is valid obviously so if the UID is not valid we won't be able to add the actor inside the folder because well the actor is not inside the level sequence so we cannot move it inside the folder because well it's not there so if the UID is valid then we'll be able to add it inside the folder but before we do that I'm just going to make sure that the actor is not already inside the folder so here I'm just going to check inside my folder I'm going to call get child object bindings that's going to return you all the different bindings that are currently inside the folder and if it contains the UID of my actor then I don't have to add my actor inside that folder because it's already there so I can just say that it was not a success I cannot move my actor inside that folder because well it's already there but technically you achieved what you wanted the actor is inside the folder so you're probably happy anyway
But anyway, if the actor is not already inside the folder, then we're going to move it inside the folder. So in the folder, I'm just going to call the add child object binding, filling it the GUI ID of my actor, and it's going to add the actor inside the folder, and that's it. We can see that it was a success. We were able to add the actor inside the folder in the level sequence, and that's it. Now it's time to do the opposite, moving the actor out of the folder from the level sequence. So I'm going to scroll all the way down right here, and to move the actor out of the folder from the level sequence, we're going to do the exact same thing as the previous one, actually. We're going to start by hitting the folder from the level sequence. If the folder is not valid, we cannot remove the actor from it, so I'm just going to return right away, and then I'm going to try to find the UID of my actor, so get actor UID from level sequence, and that's going to return you the UID. If the UID is not valid, I cannot remove my actor from the folder because the actor is not inside the level sequence, so I'm just going to return right away also, and then I'm going to check if the actor is already inside the folder, because if the actor is not inside the folder, so if the get child object bindings doesn't contain the UID, the actor is not inside the folder, so I'm just going to return right away because, well, it's not there. But if it's inside the object bindings of the folder, then I can simply remove it just like that. So in my folder, remove child object bindings, feeding it the UID, and that's going to remove the actor from the folder, and that's it. Now we can say that it was a success, we were able to remove the actor from the folder, and now it's time to jump in Unreal to see if it works. So here I am in Unreal and I have a pretty simple level sequence. I only have my warrior in there and we're going to use that warrior to test our different folders. So we're going to move that warrior inside those different folders and we're going to do that using a user interface as usual. So here I can provide the path of my level sequence, which is the one I just showed you, the name of the folder I want to create or remove or I want to move my warrior inside it. So that's the name of my folder that I'm going to work with. And then we have all our different functions. So a function to add the folder, get folder, remove folder, and a function to move the warrior inside the folder and the function to move the wire out of the folder and when I go in the graph I can see that all those buttons are simply calling the function we created today so add folder in level sequence, get folder from level sequence, remove folder from level sequence, move actor in folder in level sequence and move actor out of folder in level sequence. For all those functions right here I'm using the same level sequence path and the same folder name obviously because I only have those two strings inside my user interface but for the last two functions I'm also using the warrior which is the warrior that I have inside my level so that's my warrior actor we're going to use that actor to retrieve the UID and then move the actor in or out of the folder, obviously. So good, and we're gonna see if it works. I'm just gonna open my aid star utility widget there right here, scroll all the way at the bottom, and here we go. Now I'm going to start by adding a new folder in my level sequence because there's nothing in there, so that's not fun. Here we go, I now have a new folder inside my level sequence uh, named my folder name, which is the name that I have right here. I can name it whatever I want, so I can add a new folder with the name a little bit different. Same thing, I can add more trees at the end if I want, or I can have a few five or whatever. I can name it whatever I want and that's going to add the folders for you inside the level sequence. Then once the folder are inside the level sequence, you can obviously remove them. So I can remove that one. I'm going to try to remove this one and maybe I'm going to remove the default one. There we go. So now I'm left with only one folder in my level sequence. And then if I try to remove a folder that doesn't exist, obviously it's not going to work. And if I try to add a folder that is already there, obviously it's not going to work also. That's just the way it works. But now it's time to test if we are able to move the wire inside those folders. So I'm going to use my folder name, so the one that we have right here, and move the warrior inside that folder. And we can tell it worked. I have my warrior now inside my folder name, which is the first folder that I have right here. I can move it out of the folder, move out of the folder. It seemed to work. If I do try to move it out another time, it's not going to work because it's not inside the folder. Same thing if the warrior is already inside the folder, I cannot move it inside the folder another time because, well, it's already there. So move out only once, move in only once, obviously. And then I can move my warrior from one folder to the other, no problem. I can simply name my folder right here, change the name to trees retrieve which is the name of my second folder and now if I move my wire in folder it's just going to take my wire from the first folder and move it inside the second folder right away so good as you can see it seems to work pretty fine I can add as many folders as I want just one thing though if you have uh, some actors inside a folder that is inside the level sequence be careful when you're removing that folder because it's going to remove the actors that are currently inside that folder because well that's just how Unreal works so anyway I guess that's gonna be it for today's video and I'm gonna see you in the next one uh, bye bye